-hmm. So there's different kind of rappers. So like ones that might make music about parties and all of this, they're gonna blow, but the music's like here today, gone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And when you got a real story and, and um, um, you're talking about real stuff that's going on, it's just here forever, isn't it? Mixtape Madness, NFL, Chucky Online. You already know what it is, yeah? Um, Actually, I don't know. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, they know. <laughs> they know, innit? Like, you know. We are in a six setting right now. We're in the Spurs Stadium. Um, the NFL play here occasionally. Um, there's another football team that plays here, but we don't talk about that, really, yeah? But the most important thing really is, you know, I got two of my guys with me, yeah? Some, some, some talent, some interesting human beings, and some great men, yeah? Jason, OC, two-time NFL Super Bowl winner as well. Mm. When you see him, you have to respect that and look at him very nicely, yeah? Two times. But two, all of that. Must be acknowledged that it's exactly. twice. Exactly, yeah. right? Uh, how are you both, by the way? Good? Doing well, man. Good. Great to be black. Black. No, what? <laughs> it that's is great true. to be that's black. That's is that true? true? I enjoy it. I absolutely do. And yeah. back. So I'm just being honest. Obviously, I'm, this is going to be great conversation. Look where I am. Yeah, yeah. You lot took me into your world. We learned how to do, you know, elements of the, like, the components of how the NFL thing works on the pitch and that with the throwing, the kicking, the catching and all of that which was good, which was sick, and we have to do it again. There's so many artists that we could do that with. All you need to do is just ask me. I'll be able to tell you who we could do it with and that. But now is the time where I bring you back into my world again. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah? yeah? We got some we got some special stories, man, and, like, and, and interesting perspectives as well, because we always hear a lot about the come-ups of artists, um, in America and that. And I think that there was a time, and I'm gonna get the, my guests to talk about this as well, yeah. I think there might have been a time where we may have idealized a, a lot of that at a point, but we got to a stage where we realized, now hold on a minute, there's value from where we come from mm -hmm. and we are, like, we just have our own level of litness, yeah. The rapper that I got sitting next to me is one of my favorite rappers. I've spoken to him about this before, you know, he's, he's He's come out and changed. Like he had a, he had a lot of noise at a point. Then he went away, and he was able to then come back and translate a lot of that energy that he'd gone through into you know this next stage of his life. And he, and on top of that, really have that respect that he had from back then all the way back up till now. I got my brother Rimsy with me. What's going on, my brother? How are you? Yes, I'm good. Good. I'm good Thank man. you for coming down and sitting calm, with the man there. He said to me, you know what? I don't know nothing about the NFL. I said, bro, don't worry about that, bro. <laughs> me neither, though. I like to know, innit? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to go in blind and that. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. Have you, you, like, even from what you see aesthetically, do you think it's something that you could do? Even just a little bit of it that you well, see? NFL. Yeah. Yeah, probably, if I wanted to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's built. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, he's not Born a... Already. Yeah, yeah. see? There you go. <laughs> Have you always... You ain't always been wham, though. Nah, I was, used to be... Do you know what is, though? Man was big boned, didn't it? But I was skinny, though. So right. now, when I, after when I got big, now nah, it's just normal, isn't it? Even yeah. if I don't go to gym, I'm not losing weight, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's just normal. But my little bro is big as well, though. He's bigger than me and he's 18 and that. Mad. There is. Yeah. You need to get like, him how big? Like, tall? Like a little bit bigger than me, though. Yeah. Like, tall as well. He's tall as well, yeah. So, Mad. This, this, Does he have this? Because uh, you you got like an energy about yourself, bro. Huh? Like you just not you not fucking around, basically, bro. Yeah, like, are, does he have that? Because you <laughs> need that. Changing, we need that. We like that. My little bro. Yeah, nah, he's not the same. Nah, he's he's a, he's a good guy, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Do you know what it is? I just felt like I lost that so much time, and I just want to do proper serious news, and you know what I'm saying? And it's like I find like you know with like social media and all of this, and too much people are running around chasing gossip and mm. having fun. I don't want to have no fun in it. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> you I need to be in it, you know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what I'm on still. Before we actually get into anything here, actually, just thinking about it, like having a younger brother, yeah, mm -hmm. and obviously being uh, like once upon a time, being at age and certain things happening or whatever. Yeah. Like how do you ever sit and have conversations with him about like almost trying to deter him a little bit from like how it was for you yeah, when yeah. he was that age? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, bro. Because you know what it is, bro, it's like, the way man's living here, yeah, it, obviously to, to me it was normal, innit? But it's not normal, so I don't want my little bro going through these things, you get what I'm saying? 
I don't know if he's gonna come home today and all of these things. You know what I'm saying? Like my mum used to literally call me every single day to, to make sure, like if I'm out after 12, call me, where are you? Do you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't want my little bro doing all of that. He has to be a good dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not asking him as well. He has to be, you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. long, bro. So yeah, man, just make sure. Even like around here, he wanted to go college here, innit? But obviously me, obviously this is Tottenham, this area, innit? I'm from Hackney, but it's, it's the same thing, innit? Every area is another hood, so it's like, I don't want my little brother going to a college in the hood because I know there's always youths that want to be them guys, innit? Fact. So it's like, when he's here now, I'm always thinking, is my little brother all right if he's not? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. And when man's trying to like make proper moves, it will take me off track to be doing what I used to do mm -hmm. because my little bro, do you get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'd rather him just go somewhere that's proper. He can just go to school and not have no issues, you get it? Yeah, yeah. Peace yeah. of mind for him and also peace of mind for you. Yeah, facts. And you that's can just focus on what he needs to do. Exactly. And then that, that way you can stay on your on your trajectory and do your thing. Uh -huh. Tell, like, talk a little bit about, like, I've, you know, I know a lot about you, but I want you to, you know, talk to these two a little bit about, like, the early beginnings from, for you, what it looked like for you when you was, you know, trying to come up making music, but also being, mm. you, you know, do you know what it is that like, <coughs> from young in it, I always liked music, but it was like I didn't like you see like now there's loads of rappers they're getting paid for music in it. But before I went to jail, that wasn't normal. Yeah. Like mm. I come out of jail and it's like everyone's getting paid now, Spotify streaming, mm -hmm. they're doing shows. This never used to happen before. So it was like I used to obviously do what I had to do on the roads and then rap was just a hobby. So now I'm coming out, I'm trying to turn it into a business. But obviously before all of that, obviously I was just doing bare roads. So my name was already ringing for the roads. So when I used to rap, it used to help with what I'm doing because more people want to watch it because it's like, hey, my man is the truth. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? You know? um, so that, that kind of used to help me still. That's what you asked me, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, going yeah. off track, bro. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. So yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? So now, like, man's realising, like, man's done bare years in jail. Bare things are a waste of time. A lot of things that, like, you think was real ain't. Best of your brothers are not there. Some of the men them are snitches, but you don't know until you catch a case with them. Like, Damn. this thing is all backwards, you get it? Even the way we grew up in the hood where we don't know no financial literacy, Facts. no one lives with their dad. Facts. Like, um, man, some men don't look after their kids. Like, so, so many things why we're like this today, innit? You get it? So like, me, I got a daughter now, and I'm, I'm gonna make sure a man's there the whole time, you get what I'm saying? Even if me and her mum have problems, we got to sort it out. Right. So the family's together, innit? Because mine grew up without man's dad. All my brothers, sisters, same thing, innit? Everyone in the hood, same thing. And then we're all in these problems, you get me? We're grinding, trying to make money, trying mm. to make a change. And it's not, everyone's not fortunate, do you get what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of rappers, right? Uh -huh. They're rapping about other people's lives. They're rapping yeah. about things that they've seen. Uh -huh. You're rapping about my own life, stuff yeah. you are mm. actually going through. Yeah. Do they make it easier for you or, or yeah, but you know, I always did that though, because mm. it's just weird, isn't it? Like, mm. even sometimes I see these guys rapping and it's like, when you see them in real life, they're not even like that. So yeah. it's like, yeah. I don't understand, innit? But again, it's entertainment, innit? I had to learn that because I used to think like, bro, this rap thing is fake. And, but remember, it's entertainment, innit? Mm. It's not real. Mm. So there's different kind of rappers. So like, ones that might make music about parties and all of this, they're gonna blow, but the music's like, here today, gone tomorrow. Mm. And when you got a real story and, and um, um, you're talking about real stuff that's going on, it's just here forever, innit? You mm. get what I'm saying? That's why I like, my favorite rappers are like Little Dirk and these guys that I heard you were talking earlier. Cause what he's saying, I feel like that's me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I can proper relate to it. So that's what it is, man. You talked about your family, you talked about your brother. Mm -hmm your daughter where did that perspective come from was that did that happen when you were away or yeah, was it did it did you know because like you know when you're on road yeah it's like everything's going so fast so you can't really notice it mm. so when i obviously i was in jail and i used to think like like because there's bare racism even in prison as well like mm. you're treated differently so i used to always think what's going on and then i watched some some documentaries like hidden colors um mm. the calculated destruction of black man and woman and man started learning Sorry. history and i realized okay it makes sense that's why you get it because the stuff we was doing before, like a lot of men don't know, innit? That's mm -hmm. why we're doing this. Because me, I'm thinking like, before us, we were slaves, yeah? So not being a slave already is accomplishment. But when you do research on like, what we did before, Egyptians, how they started mass days, months, years. Mm. Um, Mansa Musa, the richest man that ever lived. But like, like, when you start learning about all of these things, you realize like, raw man's not doing nothing, bro. Mm. I'm wasting it, do you know what I'm saying? So then, and then obviously, we're, from Hidden Colors and that, it shows you about, the hoods and like crack came to America mm. to mash up the black community mm. in the 80s. So when you learn all to of this stuff, it's like, 
Yeah, from the mm. war, yeah, the legal war. Mm. So it's like when you learn all of this stuff, it's like, raw man's playing in someone else's trap, bro. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Brother. So Let it's me like, tell you, it's like you realize you get to a moment where you feel like, raw. There, this whole time there was a game being played, and yeah. I'm, I'm part of the game. I didn't even realize you know, I'm yeah. playing someone else's game. Mm. But he said the key word though, mm. understanding your history. Right. Yeah, that's that's what that's what it is. That's what it is, bro. Because obviously I know bear it in it, but a lot of people don't, and a lot of people are not ready for it. Mm. Because when I first come jail. And the man who was having these arguments about history, I was like, oh, I don't want to hear all of that. <laughs> yeah. Three years later, I know more than my brethren that was talking about it. Right. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's when you're ready, innit? Do you get what I'm saying? Why, what, what changed? Like, what made that switch for you to start really trying to dig deep into it? Do you know what I mean? I like learning, innit? Mm. I would say, yeah, I'm a nerd, but I'm a serious guy, though, right. at the same time. Mm. So because I like learning, but at the same time, no one can deal with me in a mad way. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But I always like learning, so... When I watched some documentaries, I used to read books, bear stuff. It's like, wow, this is mad. I didn't even know this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Man, this is fascinating. Yeah, it's crazy. This is, this is crazy. This is, this you, is, think, you think if people where you come from, you think they would be open to learning about that type of yeah, stuff? Yeah. You think that it would change them? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what it is? I find with the ends, it matters who it's coming from. Mm. If you the respect vessel. someone, you listen to them. If, you, if there's a guy on the street telling you this, you're not going to listen to him. Your mom and your dad, you're not going to win ahead of them. Mm. They're too old, they don't understand. But man, always forget they've been through this years before. Yeah. It's just a cycle going around again. So if someone rates someone, they'll listen to them, and especially when you've got something to show. So like, one of a man's dreams is like, obviously when I'm proper, like sorted with everything, my family straight, everyone straight, I want to literally drive to my ends. I can't go there now, obviously my license conditions. I'll drive to my ends and I'm going to grab youths from the roads and show them, yo, look, this, this, we can have this, this. Because, mm. you know, like, obviously, man hustled on the road. Business is that I've got businesses now as well, isn't it? It's the same thing, bro. Mm -hmm. It's just the same skill set. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The same thing. Bro. And it's like, bro, what these guys are doing, man's doing the same thing. Mm. But the only thing is with this now, it's like, it, it goes to a stage as a drought. I can't get nothing no more. Or my bridges go jail, or this soldier's in jail, or I can't get a runner because people, some people are scared. Mm. You do this on one of them business, bro. It's never ending. It, and you know as, this is what I've said enough times, like if people from where I've come from, I'm like, right, you know what, yeah? If you apply this same principle, but over here, mm -hmm. you're gone. You don't even realize Man, it. Gone, missing. Gone. Missing. It's it's what you said just struck a chord with me because. I, I went to finance after I finished playing. And the one mm. thing I tried to get everybody to understand was like, listen, you understand this stuff. I'm just going to flip the terminology. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to change it and relate it to the sport. Yeah. You know, this is what this means in finance. Yeah. And people, the concepts are there. They're easy to obtain and understand. Mm. They just use that veil yeah. of wording and how it's, Describe yeah, exactly. to kind of keep the barriers up. Exactly. This yeah. you 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 said something else. I, I, um, a quote from you about not wanting to waste time. Yeah. When you came home and you thought about the time that mm -hmm. you lost, but then you see people in the same place. Mm -hmm. Just listening to you now, it it seems like you're just you're not wasting a second. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Like now I I, I roll the calendar now, so everything's on the calendar. I do this. Is now, it? Yeah. This. Yeah. My phone calendar. So if someone says, oh, can I come here? I'm like, well, I'm gonna, let me check my calendar. Like, I didn't used to do that before, <laughs> but now I want to make sure every day is constructive. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because man's not getting no younger. And I've lost six and a half years already in jail. Mm. I need to come out and... It's like something's got to give for all of these losses. Do you get what I'm saying? Man's been stabbed like 13 times. I've Jeez. been shot out, I've been jailed, everything. So it's like, man, do I need to die before I realise like, yo, man needs to like make some proper moves. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And obviously, luckily, man's here, innit? So that's what i got to do. It's obvious to say, Ra, when you come out, when you came out, I'm going to focus on rap and a career and whatever, yeah. But just pushing that aside just quickly for, for a moment. I was that, though. Right. So it goes yeah. to my thing. Like, when you come out, uh -huh. like, what was the, the, the most important thing for you in, at that time um, to sort of apply yourself into? Like, what was, like, what was going through your head? All right, cool. I'm going to come out, yeah. <laughs> and this is the... This is the initial plan. Yeah, like, when, what was that? When I came out, I just felt like, bro, I need business because I've been hustling from I was 15 years old, bro. So to come out of jail now, like when you're, when you're in jail, it's like it's almost like a break mm. because you don't have bare responsibilities no more because mm. no one's really worrying about you because you're in jail. They're not thinking about you. Now you're out. Man's got a family. I've got a brother. Like things that might not be working, I need to fix this mm. myself. I need a car now. Mm. I need bare stuff. Was, was when, obviously, you've had it before, but now you're, when you're not in jail, you ain't got all these expenses no more. Mm. Now you come out, you need all this stuff. And then my thought was like, I was always that guy, innit? I don't want to come out and I'm not that guy no more. I'm washed up or I fell off. Mm. I always want to be in a better position. 
So that was my main focus in it. So rap, even like my old manager, he's trying to bring me studio to rap here, rap here. Bro, I've got nothing to rap about, bro. I need to make some moves to be relaxed so now I can rap. Do you get it? Even now, I had bought, I bought a house, a shop. I bought some car to rent out, all of this stuff before. I thought now I can focus on music. Mm. Do you get it? Because a lot of these guys that do music, like even here, like they, they go into this thing because they're desperate. So mm. like the man will show them 100 grand, they'll sign their whole life away. Mm. Like, what are you going to do with 100 grand? You can't buy a normal house in the hood for 100 mm. bags. No. You have to go far like, and get off auction. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, and then I don't want to be desperate, making desperate moves, bruv. So man, just need to make a few moves so then I can relax and I can do things. Because even you notice as well, I find that music's just not as good anymore because maybe the pressure that they haven't got money, they yeah. need to release something to make it back. Yeah. So it's not coming out the same. It's just rushed, you get what I'm saying? And it's not the same. It's so. like debt music, isn't it? Yeah, bro. It's like yeah. debt music is like, rah, okay, now I don't <coughs> even have it like that. I thought I did, but now I've got to release this and do that to try and get back this so I can pay off that. Exactly. You know what's funny, and I'll see a laugh at this, in the NFL, mm -hmm. when you get paid, when you get that contract, you start really balling. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you take that pressure off, right? It's like, I'm gonna really go out here and take some chances in the game. Mm -hmm. But when you're on the team and you're like, you know, you could be the, here, here now, gone tomorrow, mm -hmm. you don't take those risks on the field because you're a little nervous, right? You mm -hmm. need that check. And it sounds like your approach now, when you get to the music, mm -hmm. and when you, as you're doing the music, it's like, I'm gonna do what I want, how mm -hmm. I want, because I've taken care of home. That's exactly that. And then that's the main thing as well. Because you know, like when someone's stirring your ship, like me, I'm independent, so I can do what I want. I can drop a song today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. A lot of men don't have that because they sign, so they mm. need permission. Oh, uh, you know what? We don't think that's the right song. Then you've got to do sign else. And then it could take you off track where you lose all your fan base because of that. Do you get what I'm saying? Like a lot of men go so big, pop, blow, then they're so big, and then now it's like you're not even relatable no more. No yeah. one even likes you. Mm. You've lost come back, their fan base. Rapping about your story, yeah. we don't even believe you mm. because you're on some next pop thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it, it can go both ways, man. So I just want to keep doing what I'm doing and just elevate with it at the same time. You know, it's everything takes a team as well. I find like even with like me as well, trying to do business, trying to do music, I was literally doing everything for myself. Mm -hmm. Then now I've got a team in it, a different a team now. So now, because I can make good decisions, I might make bad decisions, but with a group of us, it's now it's going through more people than mm -hmm. me just making a mad move. And then it's like, you, when you go like B and Q, do you not know what B and Q is? is that yeah, yeah. Mm. He don't know, I know. Oh, mm. I, I, <laughs> is it Walmart? What do you like? It would oh, be Walmart. like a garden yeah, type of store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, cool. So it's like, for example, like, you go to Walmart, yeah. The guy on the till isn't the guy that's security, isn't the guy that's in the store. He's right. not doing everything. Right. It's a team. Yeah. You get it? So man needs a team. I'll do this. Someone does this. Someone does this. Mm. Someone does this. And together, that's what makes up for this. Do why don't why don't a lot of and I'm gonna say a lot of us black people? Why don't we think like that? I don't it's know. It's rare. Bro. I don't know. Conditioning, bro. I think. So I don't know, bro. But I'm, I'm, my family is just hustlers though as well. Mm. So it's like from there, I always like expensive and nice things, and then through buying things, losing money, falling off, money losing it again, going mm. broke again. It's mm. like now it's like, bro, man needs to start planning now mm. and making proper decisions. Maybe that's what it is, isn't it? You seem like a you have the ability to judge characters, mm -hmm. character and people. Or did you develop that when you were away? Yeah, yeah after now. S yeah, do you know, I, I evaluated because like, one of my brethren, my, he's not my brethren no more, he used to be, yeah? And he used to do funny stuff, innit? Mm. Like me and my other, my other closest guy used to notice, but because he was my brethren, I used to always think, just turn a blind eye because he's still my guy. Again and again, and do you know what happens? It just gets worse. Mm. Till now, mm. man does not feel him at all. So now I'm on a stage now. It's like if I see someone does something too funny, I just drop you out from the start. Mm. We don't, mm. we're not going to lead it to get to nowhere else because mm. I don't know how deep this might get. Do you get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Rather than me have to come back. I saw some Italian thing where they said something about you do sign first, so you don't have to go back to your sign. Right. Yeah. So sign wrong them line. So I just someone don't fly straight or they're not in line in what you're trying to do, then it's not going to work, innit? Have you always been able to see that in people? Nah, or? not before, no. No. But now, now I do, though. Yeah. Yeah, when yeah. you get to a certain... See when you that, that switch clicks, yeah? Sometimes you can... You get into this zone and you start, actually start realising, hold on one second, like, we're not all... We're actually not all... Not necessarily thinking the same, but we don't all have the same goal. Yeah. And everyone's pulling in different directions and whatever. And, it, and then you, you can start seeing what certain people's motives are. You know yeah, what I mean, and how it can well. and how it can actually take away 
from what it is that your your big long term goal, 100%. and then having to distance make make decisions to distance yourself from that. It's like even even going back as well. You're back to the ends thing again. Ends yeah. music area. Mm. Yeah, it's like a lot of people you you roll with. Yeah, it's only because you you grew up in that place. Yeah, mm. you get what I'm saying. And mm. as you grow older, you realize like, oh, this guy's dodgy and this guy's this. And mm. but that's because we're in that environment. We're forced to. Mm. Whereas now you'll meet a guy from somewhere far away and you'll do better stuff with him yeah. than they want. Yeah. Or next man over there will bring you on stuff that <laughs> yeah. the man them don't want to bring you on. Do you know right. what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. bro, why are you hiding stuff in that? Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Even how I even ended up reading, the guy's my bridging though. Like, I used to do business don't with him. Don't tell me he didn't try and then he used to book. hide. He, every time I used to go to this guy's <laughs> cell, the guy's hiding books. Hiding. I'm like, brother, what are you hiding, bro? <laughs> then I saw it. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Oh. Think rich, grow rich. Oh, so I'm proper man has got. He was trying to hide it. Bro, he's got a towel over it. He hides it, bro. The guy is too funny, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. He's mad secretive still. Like, not, not to make it hella deep in that, but see, like, remember, people at a point didn't want us to read, bro. Yeah, yeah it's true, it's because true. Because that's all where the power is. That's where Facts. some of the information in that is. Facts. It's Facts, like, bro. not everyone wants to give the information. And it's mad when you think about it. Because it's like, really... Mm. Like, my light isn't going to dim your, your light. Yeah. Like, mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if my candle gets lit, it's not going to take away from your candle. No, you like, not, this candle like that. that you light, the, this candle still stays, stays yeah. how it is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but people don't look at it like that, man. They just feel like they want to be at the top and they don't want no one to come close. Oh, see, when men find that, it's mm, worse, don't it, it? It is. I, I, I don't know if I've ever asked you this, but you're a I'm just listening to him. You're an amazing judge of character. Mm -hmm. Was it always like that? Or did it? I can see that in people, like where you can yeah. see that they. Yeah, I, I no, I wouldn't say it was always like that. No, I think it's it's almost like um, the more things you go through. Yeah. The point. more you learn, the more you start to you know understand people better, mm -hmm. and then you become a better judge of character mm -hmm. like that. Because if you don't go through nothing, then you probably go around thinking everybody is this way. But then as you learn and people disappoint you, and all these things happen. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, you start the, and there's some, some, some instances, some people just have intuition. True. Yeah. You know, yeah, some people true. can just, yeah. you know, yeah. you just feel people. Like, as soon as you walked in, I could just, I just, yeah, yeah. I, intuitively, so, I know. And he doesn't right? say that. That's yeah. when he said that. I mean, that's not how he is. Yeah. He yeah. just doesn't give that out. Yeah. Intuition. Like, even on, like, in the sport as well, yeah, you kind of get to a point where you start to understand by people's characters who you can trust and who you can't trust when mm. it comes to certain moments, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. on the field, you see it. Be because on the field, it's, 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 it's yeah. you know, you right? can, He yeah. can like me and he'd be like, Jay Bell ain't no yeah. good out there. We can't count on him, you know? You know? It's instant, yeah. There's so it's many instant. things that happen out there that, and it, because it's such a brutal game, your character will reveal, yeah. like right there on the football field for everybody to see, yeah. right? This guy's laying down, you know, mm -hmm. or, you know, there's a big hit that he's supposed to make and he shies away, mm -hmm. or he's not running, mm -hmm. or, you know, something happens and you know right away, you'd be like, this guy, you know. Yeah. You don't got it in the tank. Yeah. We was talking about music before. Remember when, like, before you went inside or whatnot, making money from rap music was pretty much non existent, really, yeah. innit? I don't it's, think it even was existent. Nah. It was mm. exactly. Mm. Well, we've yeah. well, had this conversation before. Like, when did it come about? Oh, fifteen, in it? Yeah, probably oh, fifteen, sixteen ish. Yeah. People started making light money, and then now you're starting to see people making a bit more money and stuff like that. Mm. Like, how how do you how do you feel about where the game is today? I think it's in a better place now because now I feel like literally, bro, you can just make it whatever you want in it because like a lot of it is down to marketing in it. I didn't know that before. So it's even all that stuff I had to learn myself, bro. Because mm. even here, yeah, it's like, because me, yeah, I got a real story in it. I'm from a real place. And my position I was in before, people wouldn't want to show me certain stuff because they don't want me to get back there. Because mm. like, a lot of guys are shining now and they're not the real deal mm. because mm. they got the platform or they got the marketing correct. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but I had to learn that myself because no one tells you nothing, bro. But it's through trial and error, trial and error. I find it fascinating, though, how you talk about, and you've you brought this up quite a few times, there really was no money yeah. in rapping before. Yeah. So why did you, why did you guys do it? Just a hobby. pure, just love. Yeah. Mm. You just like it. It's, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's mad because America, well, as far as I know of America, it's mm. always, like, music just made everyone blow. But here it was just like, people rap, but they don't really make money. But it's just like, it's, my, it's music that street people listen to, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, we don't listen to all these radio songs and that. We like... Stuff that's oh yeah, that guy he's he's really what he's saying and so when you're driving you're listening you know like how you look listen to Jeezy for example. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah. like that, innit? 
fight. But the guy, but will be more unknown, isn't it? And That's the part that I'm, I can't lie, yeah? That is the bit that I miss, though. Oh, the Jeezy part? Like, nah, just like the, you know, like... The love. The real the love, oh, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, man was just doing it, like you said, man was just doing it for, like, because yeah. it was just, you either just loved it, it was fun, or it was just, you're just on the block and it was just something that you did, mm. yeah? Mm. And now, like, I'm a massive advocate for, like, people being able to change their circumstances, their life and all of that. Mm. There's not much people that I feel is a bigger advocate of that than me at times, yeah? Mm. But there are times when I'm like, oh, the, like, I look at you and I'm like, you don't... The, the, the focus of doing this is way off now. Mm. And it's like, it's cool because obviously you can make money, you can mm. do whatever it is or whatever, but like, you know, what, either wanting to, either having a genuine story to tell or wanting to be the best mm. was the two things that I liked. I liked either you had a story, you came from somewhere, you, there was something, regardless of what it was, mm -hmm. yeah? Right. Or there was the other element of, I just want to be the best. Competition. Like, I want to be the best. Yeah. Now it's like, no, some people don't have a story to tell. That's true. Some people don't have a story to tell, which is cool. But then like, there's not that, I'm going to perfect my style or my craft to actually try to be the best. It just is where it is, isn't it? If I could just mm. get a one-liner, mm. bust on TikTok, you get what I'm saying? Good. Then I'm good yeah. now. Like it's good. TikTok's good because they make money, but it's just, I don't know, it's just like, how do you measure success, isn't it? You know what I'm because it's like if you do a if you do a TikTok video and your TikTok video goes viral and your song is doing mad streams, but it's not really real, innit? They mm. don't really listen to that. It was a joke, a trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as like even like some playlist and that. Like if someone's in the beginning of the playlist, they're gonna get the most streams than everyone. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's just like, and then again, if you're depending on what label you are, you'll get a better connection. So you're always gonna get a better position than everyone else. Mm. Like more, not always, but most of the time. So it's like what what really measures. The success, do you know what I mean? So, how did you feel about this guy who came out of here a couple of years ago? He had it was just a massive song. It was like the thing go. Oh, 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 like that that but but yeah. this was mad as well. This was mad as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's one thing as well. I feel like with America, you don't always find the stuff that's not mm. the not the serious stuff. You find the joke. Right. Yeah. No, but I'm so saying, how yeah. do you feel about? Things like you know, that making it big. I feel like it's good for him, but at the same time, it's bad because there's people losing their life to blow for real. Mm. And obviously, but obviously, good for him. It changed his life. Mm. So it's I don't know. It's mad. I can't say because that would have changed his life. But then again, there's people that's in worse positions that need a chance that haven't got a chance. And, and this blows. Yeah. Mm. And you <laughs> know what? In, fa in fairness to him, in fairness to him as well, yeah. Yeah. He it was just like I don't. It wasn't even supposed to be. Like, yeah, it was, was a joke. He man. was yeah. He just went in and did a fire in a booth, which is something that Charlie Sloth does. And like he was part of a, a one of his char many characters that he has. So like one character, he's like an old African dad. There's another character where I think he's like a, um, he's like a uh, ticket man or whatever. Mm. But this one is a road man. Mm. And so he's gone, but a road man rapper. Yeah. And he's gone and he's just done this. And then there's proper bus and then nah. And then like, it's crazy. because They were he, rapping that it's stuff like, in America. Like what Rimsy said is true. Crazy. crazy. He said it was mad in the strip club and that. Yeah, is it? Big, yeah. big time. That's yeah, crazy. it's crazy. But that is, that's interesting as well though. Because sometimes it does feel like that. Like sometimes it feels like, for whatever reason, Americans gravitate to like some of the more of the funnier or the joke or the not so serious things that happen mm, here. Mm -hmm. I, and it's, I don't know why that is. Maybe do you reckon that Probably might have something to do with? Probably because we don't understand the serious things that happen. Reckon that might have something to do with? That's another thing as well. Like, they, don't, they don't understand the serious yeah. things that are happening here. Right. Like, That's your, what's your fascinating. Life and the things that that yeah. have happened, they they wouldn't even think that that was happening in America. Because some yeah. people they still see the it. tea and the queen and all of that. They just yeah. think that, bro. Like That's what I'm <laughs> it's crazy. Like you know, it's everywhere is a hood, isn't it? You know what I mean? Exactly. Hundred percent. Different, different, different stages. How do you measure your success? I don't know. How are you measuring yours? I don't think I'm successful yet. I still, there's still more to go in. I'm at the beginning of my journey, so I don't want to, I don't want to feel complacent and start thinking like, yeah, I'm doing good now and, and fall off. I need to keep going until I feel like, yeah, now's the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe till I can change all my family's life, then I can say I'm successful. Is that? Do you feel like that's how you would measure it then? Yeah, by, actually, yeah. By the, the the lives that you can change immediately around you with family and stuff like that, yeah, as opposed to just yeah. your own. Yeah. Cause you know it's just like bro, I got bare bridges. It's like men are coming in and out of jail. They're trying to better their life and they're in jail. And it's like, oh, bro, I and I'm not even in a position where I can help them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's just like, bro, we're all, we're still losing in it. Cause it's still these guys are still part of me in it. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Like 
we met some good people here, bro. Mm. We're just doing this. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Really good people. Really, yeah. You just wouldn't even, it's, it's crazy. Mm. Yeah, man, there's crazy. a lot of, there's. Everything you said is selfless. Yeah. Mm. Everything. From the mm. time you sat down to that, it's just all about other people. See, like, the life that he's lived, some people fantasize about that until it's time to be in that yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. Then they don't and want then, because, then you don't mm. want it. It's, all, it's, it's even the same with, like, with girls sometimes, where a girl says, oh, you know, like, I really love the bad boy and this, that. All right, cool. See, when you're in the car now and the police pull up and I need you to... Mm. Are you going to... Because that's part of that as well. Lucky. You can't, you're not allowed to pick and choose Lucky. when you when you want to be a part of it and when you don't want to be yeah. a part of it. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's people's lives. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, mm. yeah, man. Mm. But there's a, as I said, man, there's a lot of stories here and there's a lot of things that are happening and like mm. things have changed a lot from the time, especially from the time that you started, went inside and then came out. Mm. And, then, and, you know, so See, even, like, even mixtape madness, bro. When I first was there with mixtape madness as well, I remember I come to come studio, and now when I see so much people that they got, it's like a proper business. Like, <laughs> this is mad. This is yeah, mad. It's, it's sick, though. I'm inspired. You get me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you, lot? Though, what, what advice would you give us that you've seen from your side that we could hear or stuff? Because you lot are more advanced than us. I find like Atlanta. You lot got it sick in Atlanta. Like all the guys that we rate are American, innit? it? Like that on that level that we want yeah, to be yeah. too. Yeah. 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 America is just the, it's a different world. That's where everything originated from in terms of like hip hop, hip -hop right? Yeah, yeah, right. So that's that's the, mm. the the mecca. The only thing I would say is, America is, is almost it's no longer authentic in terms of the things that they're doing, right? Like mm. when I listen to music from here, I'm more inspired mm. than when I listen to music from over there, mm. you know. And I, I just find I it weird maybe because too. I'm yeah. out here. Um, but in, in terms of advice, I would just say, bro, it's it's almost as if the way I see you guys and and, and the things that you guys have been doing is it's the same way I see like American football out here, mm. right? Because I, I see some people out here who playing football, they love the game. And in my head, I'm like, the chances of you being successful doing that is very, very small. So what made you... Mm decide to do that is just love. They love it. It's pure, right? Mm -hmm. Which is why I asked you that question. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys' love for hip-hop and the music that you guys are making is, is pure. Mm -hmm. And it, all, all that's going to do is just going to continue to make you succeed mm -hmm. because of where it comes from. You, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I can only speak to on a, on a business side uh, because you're involved in a lot of things is the secret sauce is where all your expertise merge. Fact. Oh, that's a sick one. It's the mm. secret sauce mm. because you have so much knowledge and experience in all these different arenas. They cross paths. Mm -hmm. That's where the money's made because you're going to come in those places and you're going to know more than everybody. Mm. Mm. You'll know more than everybody. Yeah, I just learned from you. Mm. Mm. I, have a, I have a client that I've, I work with that went away and he's a very successful businessman in America. And he told me he learned operations management by watching how the prison worked. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said he prison, set up. <laughs> prisons make serious money, you know. Yeah. He said I could find one thing wrong, it would blow up everything, and I could see it happen before it happened. Mm. He said, and 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 so he watches his businesses that way, and okay. he's very precise in how he how he breaks things down. But it's because of that knowledge and what he's doing now, he's better than everybody. Okay. So understand where all this, these knowledge points mesh. Mm. And what would you say got you onto the financial stuff as well? The locker room, being in, in football and understanding that we had these decisions to make and we had these pressures mm. and we had all these resources, but nobody was translating. Mm. Nobody wanted to do the dirty work because you didn't get paid like that. You didn't get paid by sitting down and talking to you about why this matters. I got paid by selling you something. Mm. So I said, if I can just translate this correctly, and be able to take all these different elements and say, hey, this is how it applies to you, I can build a successful business. Mm. And I learned that in the locker room. And you had, a, you had so many different worlds. You had the OCs, which were the highest paid guys on the team, and you had me. Mm. And we're in the same room. We go to work together, but our lives are completely different. Mm. How do I help everyone in that, in that building? Because that's society, that's life, that's 
different families, you know, and that's what I did. Yeah, because, you know, I, even me, before I came out, I used to watch, that's the reason why I'm independent as well, another big reason, because back in the day, where, being signed was rare. So if, if, if someone come to sign me then, I would have probably signed for anything, right. just because what you're getting signed is a big thing. But then when I was in when I was in jail, I wasn't gonna do music no more. And then too much people came to me, my girl was onto me now, nah, you need to carry on the little whatever. So now I start to learn the business. So I'm watching Kanye West interviews, mm. Jay-Z interviews, Yogi interviews, mm. I'm reading bare book, I've got some book, everything you need to know about the music business, I'm learning bare stuff. Mm. So now when I go in places, I'm scarred. Mm. I can't decide for nothing. I need to, to go through this properly. Mm. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because I know it's, and you know what it is? When I, from obviously doing loads of stuff anyway, I know like money can't make me do something a certain way. Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It needs to be morally correct. So it's like, even now it, you see, because Americans are better at marketing than we are here. Mm -hmm. But you'll see some guys go to the extreme, yeah, to be known and then boom. You know what I'm saying? But they're doing it here as well now, though. Yeah. Mm. But to your point earlier, what did you do to put yourself in a situation that you didn't have to do that? You yeah. took care of your base. Yeah. And so now you is. can think like that. Facts. Yeah. That's and I mean. also think as well, man, see, for me, like something that I sort of live by a little bit is that, like, if I'm doing something, if I'm doing something, someone's coming to me with something, yeah, it either has to be, it either has to be impactful mm. or it's got to be substantial. Mm. But that substantial element of it, like I know that where I come from, the things that I've experienced, the things that I've been around, the people that I know and my network and all of these type of things have monetary value. Mm. So you can't trick me out of that. And I mm. think that like when I speak to young people a lot of the time and that as well, yeah, I always say to them, always remember what you're around, what you see, the environment that you're in, all of these things have monetary value. Don't mm. allow anyone to trick yourself out of that but just learn, listen, and watch how certain things, are, how certain people move and how certain things work, and you'll be all right. You know what I mean? It's true, See, though. I just learned something right now. Yeah, yeah it's true. Because, you know, I'm doing something that, you know, I have a lot of knowledge on, and it has monetary value. Mm -hmm. And right. they're just not going to... That's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. always have to protect that, though. Yeah. And you have to understand what those assets are worth. Right. Because mm -hmm. in business, people are always valuing those and they're looking to take it from yeah, you. They'll, yeah. put, they'll put a value on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you're an they'll asset. They'll put a value on yeah. you. Mm. You know. So it's understanding that, being able to articulate it, and when you go in and 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 you are negotiating, you got to understand what that's worth, and it's not what they believe it's worth; it's what you believe it's worth. That's where the valuation starts. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Is it, is it Jim Jones that said you get what you negotiate, or not what you deserve? Right. Yeah. How do these companies become billion dollar companies all of a sudden overnight? Because somebody gave them a billion dollars. Mm. They didn't yeah. sell a billion dollars worth of stuff. Mm. Yeah. OC gave me a billion dollar, I'm a billion dollar company. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's true though. Yeah, man. It's Another sick one, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Rimzy, appreciate you coming here, bro. Calm up, Honestly. Yeah, I learned a lot, man. Same, vice versa. Yeah. Man. On a deep one, man. I genuinely check for you, man. And I'm, I'm happy mm. that you are like you found yourself and you're doing what it is that you're doing. I think that that is the, that's the inspiring thing there. Mm. I know that you, there's probably still a lot of things you're trying to figure out, isn't it? Like, you know, there's a, a, a life and a, and a way that you're trying to maneuver and mm. you're like, you're very focused in doing that. I watch like, especially the conversations that you have with Amaru and whatever. Oh, like yeah, I can yeah. see, I can, I can see where your mind is at. Do you mm. know what I mean? And it's just like, I'm, I, it's, it's comforting to know that you are still the same person that you are, but you, you know, you've expanded your palette, you know mm. what I mean? And you're not gonna just allow someone to just trick you out of that and draw you out in mm. some way to send you back to a place where some people would rather you be. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, man, love every time. Love you coming. Yes, we we'll sit down and chuck it up again proper. And um, oh, in, appreciate it. Heavy man. hand in that. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, OC. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mixtape Madness NFL Chucky Online. You're an idiot.